Time. Well, this is the week we've been waiting for, for seemingly forever. The start of training camp and uh, what's supposed to be a really big year for the Buffalo Bills. I mean, isn't it insane? Like, I mean, you were, you know, you were covering the Bills here for the four Super Bowls, traveling around, doing that thing. I was a diehard Bills fan. Even during those years, the expectations weren't that high for this team, right? I mean, like, this is Super Bowl or bust. This is your quarterback is going to be the MVP. Odds on favorite for both. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle minute to minute from when camp opens this weekend until the day after the Super Bowl is over. What are you looking forward to seeing or, or maybe evaluating most during training camp? I'll tell you what it is. One person I'll be watching is O.J. Howard, the new tight end the Bills signed, coming over from Tampa Bay. Last year, uh, the second tight end for the Buffalo Bills, uh, with Dawson Knox having his breakout year that he did despite missing all that time with a hand injury, was Tommy Sweeney. Tommy Sweeney may not make this roster this year. You have another legitimate second tight end now. Think about this, man. If O.J. Howard can round into form, and you have Dawson Knox, who you know can play on the other side, you can run a two tight end, two wide receiver, third round pick, James Cook catching balls or running out of the backfield. How do you stop that? How do you match up with that offense? Oh, by the way, if you figure it out, we're going to run our next four receivers, arguably some of the best core in the league, and try and stop that. Instead. Yeah, we're trying to flies in the face of the whole idea. It's like, hey, we're just bringing the gang back together, because really not. We're trying to improve upon it. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you got O.J. Howard, you got Von Miller coming in, Kamir Elam, the new corner, first-round pick, is going to play a huge part for this defense if he wins that job. I mean, yes, they're, for the most part, the Bills are back, but those are three key spots where guys are going to matter. Now, relocating to Southern Florida, are you taking the Bills with you, or are you going to become a Dolphins fan? No. To bite your tongue, no, I will absolutely be a Bills fan. We've already found our hangout for, you know, when we're down there. We'll that was, must no have problems. been high on the priority list. Absolutely, it was absolutely high on the priority list. And I can't, you know, I agree with Pat. I can't wait to see, you know, them roll out this week. And I think O.J. Howard is a big pickup. I'm actually very much excited about Cook, too, because I think the Bills, no disrespect to Singletary, I thought he ran some hard yards at the end of the season last year. But... He literally has to give everything he's got to get an extra yard. Like, everything he's got to get an extra yard. And other backs seem to fall forward and get an extra yard. Like, I, we need some explosiveness. We need something out of that backfield to, to <laughs> add to the Bills' offense. Not that they don't have Josh Allen and everybody else, but... You are it's tough to contain yourself. Come on, do something to us now! That's right. So, Cook is the guy you're really kind of focusing on. I, I think so. You know, I mean, I... Th I am. I think that Bills need a, a running game. They And even if it's catching balls out of the backfield, you still got to run the ball, too. I, they need a running game. And if he's the answer, they, they could be – They, I don't – I'm worried about the expectations. I agree. I, I thought last year the expectations were through the roof. And about midway through when, you know, they ended up still winning the division. But midway through, they still had everything in front of them, and everybody was writing them off as being horrible. So maybe that was good for him. Maybe last year having the bullseye on their back, it may not feel quite as bad, but it's always hard to be, you know, have everybody chasing you down. It's easier to be the underdog chasing other people. Yeah, and the time is now. That's kind of cool.